guys, how's it going? It's Height here, and we are back with a brand new episode of Assembly Planter, and check it out. So in the last episode, we made, I don't remember, Iron version 2? We did this together? Well, now I have Sand version 2, Iron version 2, Olives version 2, Wood version 2, Copper version 2, Automatoes version 2, and Glass version 3. So this one I kind of did by myself. Um, we were supposed to do that together and I forgot I got a little bit ahead of myself. So Anyway, the glass version 3 I can put 50 dirt into and it gives me a hundred glass over 20 seconds. So we're making five glass a second Unbelievable the first one was only 10 one. It was only one glass a second So this one is five times as good and it uses dirt instead of sand. This one I needed to put sand into. This one I only had to put dirt into. So perfect. Now, what I want to do today is get a plastic version 2 going. And all I want to do is be able to put dirt into it and get out our plastic. I don't want to have to do anything else in between. So let's just see here. The plastic takes five olives, five olives, okay, and our olives version two is making 200, I don't think we need that. <laughs> one of these version one guys here will be able to power four of those plastic factories. So let's start with something like that. We're going to take some dirt. And I don't know if we necessarily have to split it. Four to one. You know what? Let's make two of these. Input. Input. So each one of those can power four. Actually, this... This will be okay. But I can do better. Actually, maybe I can't do better because this is going to have to split once and it's going to have to go like that. We're going to have to go like that. So now we're going to be shoving the dirt in there. Each one of these takes 10. So we're going to have to put in 20 dirt, which is not so bad. And then each of those have to get spread out to four factories let's go something like that and something like that and then we need a whole bunch of these plastic factories which we actually don't have our own version set up yet so we can just where the heck do you make plastic in this thing there it is so we need eight of these well seven because we have one already. So let's get this guy. Sneak that off. And we'll do something like this. Something like this. And then all of the outputs will go... Crap, I need more belts. All of the outputs will go into outputs. Like so. That should work we put in 20 we get back 56 that doesn't seem right okay no it is we put in 20 so 20 divided by 5 times 7 gives us 28 times 2 because i have two rows of them gives us 56 I'm kind of wondering why we're not getting dirt back because oh these olive factories oh yes these olive factories are what makes the dirt and we're not pulling the resources out separating them oh I don't know if I have room for this yeah, I don't think we have room, because I need another splitter. Yeah, we definitely don't have room. This is fine, though. 20 dirt for 56 plastic. And 
uh, yeah, let's just go with that for now. Error. Oh. Durr. Plastic. Version 2. And I would like to get the dirt back. Let's just call this version 2A because I think I'm going to want to change that at some point. So this guy now is going to come over here and we just got to put that there. And it should just start working. We're going to start producing plastic. It looks like everything is pretty full here except for our dirt. That is fine. Okay, so now the next thing I want to start working on is, well, let's get this level up first of all. You've unlocked gold tier items. New items can now be crafted at the advanced crafting table. You can now craft compact sand. Use an iron sieve to get gold seeds from it. New upgraded versions of the harvester and planter are now available. Oh my gosh, we just set up everything and now we got to start all over again. Okay, so... Where is my sieve? And then it said something about sieving compacted sand. How do we get compacted sand? Where do we make that? Right here. So maybe we should make a machine to automate this. It takes five sand and one of those cactuses. I don't even think we're making compactuses. We're not. We are not making compactuses. Uh, yes we are. That's what this is. But it takes sand. So we we need to set this up to take dirt. Okay, so what we want to do, as per usual, is set this up to be dirt. And let's just start with one for now. We'll take this compactus thing out of here. And how do I want to do this? We need to get a sand guy going. 50 sand turns into 8 compactus and our sand version 2 does 200 sand out of 100 dirt. So very similar to the last one. Let's make... Oh, we can't make that yet. We need a lot of cores. Okay, so if I can, this makes 200, so... Four of those, we can feed four of these per one of these. And we already realized that we don't get any extras if we do that. So maybe let's just start with one. That's just going to feed directly into there. We don't have to split it. We don't have to do anything. And from there, mm, from there, this will split the sand down and we want it to split that over a whole bunch of these green belts and four of these compactus guys okay and i forget sand version two takes a hundred so we need to put a hundred sand a hundred dirt in here and this thing should start making us. It's making us compactus and it's also making us dirt. Perfect. There we go. 100 dirt turns into 190 dirt and 40 compactus. This will be... What will this be? Compactus. Version 2. Shrink her down. And now the reason we made this, I wanted to make something to make compacted sand, right? That was the thing we were trying to make. So we've got the compactus, we just need the sand and it's a five to one ratio. So this thing's making 40 compactus, which means we need 200 sand which means we just need one more of these things and it's going to work out perfectly. Yeah, it's a one to one ratio. Oh, that's that's good. Now, the problem is if I set up both of these things, they're both going to need 100 dirt. And I don't know if this thing's actually going to work. That seems like it will 200 dirt. So you just can set both of them to equal 
a hundred and a hundred. Wait, wait, does this one need a hundred as well? One hundred, one hundred. Okay, perfect. So that works. All I need to do is get another thousand more plastic, which is gonna take a while. Hmm. So maybe while that's happening, we can reorganize this and start setting up more factories. Oh, finally, we can make the sand. The sand crafter. Why oh, wanna let me put this down? Okay, now, how does this work? I'm going to want... Four inputs. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Is it going to work? I don't think I can do this. Oh no, maybe I can. Because if we put both of these onto the same belt... Will they split those? Will they split those resources evenly over... Crafting benches? I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, we don't need a version 2 here either! That's way too much sand. Isn't that way too much sand? Whoop, I didn't mean to break that. The version 2 is 200 sand. Oh no, that's right. Compactus version 2. Okay, nope, that's right. We're doing everything right. We're trying to make compact sand. Oh, except... I need... I need to extract the good stuff and get rid of the bad stuff, don't I? How in the heck am I going to do this? Okay, something like that. And then... We can put... Ooh, ooh, this will work. This is going to work out perfectly. So I can take all of the dirt, we'll shove... Yeah, we'll shove the dirt up, and then here we'll shove... No, this is wrong. I want to shove the sand up. Why can't I search sand? Okay, so sand goes up. And then dirt goes down. So then all of my resources that I want should end up coming out this way. I hope. I hope that's right. And then we want to split that. Uh, we want an output, first of all. So that should get rid of all the dirt, I hope. And then all we want to do is split that four ways. One, two, three, four into the compact sand. Compact sand. I think that's right. One, two, three. We don't have enough stuff. Something like this should work. And then I just need a few more belts. Nothing crazy. There we go. We put in 200 dirt. We get out 352 dirt and 40 compact sand. That's perfect. It takes 50 seconds though. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, well, it's a start. Whoops. Compact sand version one. There we go. Now, all I should have to do is connect this. Let me break this belt first, clean up all this dirt. I hate this. Then we just plunk that down, connect this in there, put in half a stack because we can. And that should start making us a whole bunch of compact sand. Well, not a whole bunch, but it should get us going. And I guess... Can we make another one of those? Do I have enough stuff to just slap a second one? Uh, not even close. Not even close. 
Okay. Now, I'm sitting here thinking about this. And do I even need this in here? I don't think I do. Because we could use this factory inside of a factory, pump in dirt, and print out gold. Right? There's no reason... There's no reason we couldn't. It's still kind of slow, though. I'm not sure I like how slow it is, but there isn't really a way to speed it up. I don't think there's a way to speed it up. Although, why does it take 50 seconds? Because 20... 20. Okay, and then maybe 10 seconds for the items to get together. Or 10 seconds to craft the compact sand, probably. Five seconds only. Hmm. I don't know why it's adding up to 50 seconds. We can't really speed it up that much. It's kind of as good as it gets. The only thing we could do is add more of them so that we're getting more every so often. But to get us going... Well, we only need... Wait, what do we need? 250 gold ingots. Ooh. That's gonna be slow. Okay, if we want to make another one of those factories, we have to increase our stack size, because right now we can only hold 2660. And that's not enough. That is just not enough. So we don't need all these extra plastic factories right now. We are already maxed out on plastic. So let's just get rid of that. And then let's... I, I just... All right, guys, so I realized I was sending 50% of my dirt this way, and I only had, like, two factories on this side. So 50% of my dirt was going to feed two factories, and 50% of my dirt was going to feed eight factories. So I've just cleaned that up a little bit so it's not so weird. Hopefully this works a little bit better. I noticed that my some of my factories weren't getting dirt, so hopefully that fixes the problem now. I'm not 100% sure it's going to, but hopefully it does. Anyway, while that is doing its thing... I would like to set up a factory to make... the first tier of crate. The small crate. Now these guys... Now, these guys require wood, and only wood, and my wood factory, so it's 10 wood to make one of those, and my wood factory does 200. So we could feed 20 of those factories with one of these. I don't know if we have room for that, but we could try. Let's see. So first we put the wood tier 2 down. We set this to be... What is it? A hundred? A hundred dirt? One hundred? And then we can split that over two. Which then... Which then gets split over five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, but we're doing that same mistake we did last time. I want output. I want dirt, or this is no good. So we're going to do this. And I will send the dirt down. Uh, no. I will not send the... Yeah, I'll send the dirt down. Because then the wood can go this way. I'm not going to have room. We'll have room. We'll make this happen. Wood's gonna come this way. And then we're gonna split it over two. I need a belt. I need some belts. Okay, we're going to want output. 
And in fact, this should probably go the other way. I guess it doesn't really matter. How is this going to work? Let's just pretend these are the factories. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is not going to fit. All right, so we're not going to be able to do it. We can't fit 20 or 10 factories in here, but we can use half of it and we can send the other half out. So let's go. Dirt is going to come off. This is going to come down here. And what we'll do is we'll split it two times. Half of this, actually, we can split it a little bit farther down. This thing will actually make us wood as well. So we'll go like this. The dirt's going to go down there. Half of the wood's going to come back. And then all of our factories can go right in here. One, two, three, four, five. Output like that and like that. Okay, that hopefully will work. Where is my two, three? We need more of those three. Oh, I'm making crates instead of the assemblers. There we go. Five of those factories. It's a start. Something like that should work. So there we go. We put in a hundred dirt. We get out a hundred wood, ten crates, and a hundred and sixty more dirt. And this will be uh, crates. What are these? Small crate. Small crate version one. Okay. Now all we gotta do is put in a hundred dirt. And this thing should start making a small crate version ones or small small crates now if we want to be more efficient we should be turning those into medium crates and medium crates take 10 small crates and 10 copper and this factory that we use to make the crates makes 10 every 10 seconds so that's actually perfect. We put one of those with one of those, or two, two of these factories with one of these. And we got ourselves medium crates. So that's actually not bad. Okay, so what we're doing is bringing in 300 dirt. We need 100 for small crate, 100 for small crate. Now that should make us 20 crates. We don't want wood here. We want small crates. There we go. So that's going to make us 20 crates. Those are going to combine together. All the crates are going to come here and the dirt's going to go and get shipped out. I'm going to make the copper, the copper version one, I think. Mm, copper version one. Yes, 20. We need 20 of those. Ta-da! So then that's going to split three ways. I think the copper version one, does it take a hundred? Or am I... Uh, where the heck... Does it take a hundred? Oh, it only takes ten! So I don't need three hundred. I can actually get rid of this. We can put this to two hundred. And just stick another one of those in there. Set this to 10. There we go. That's quite a bit better. So 210 dirt is now going to get turned into two medium crates. That's not bad. Every 18 seconds, by the way. That is pretty good. I'll take that. So let's just plunk that down and let me plunk all these things down. We need more, more, more storage. And just really quickly, what does it take to make the upgraded, upgraded storage? 10 of those, 10 iron. 
Oof. These only make... Oh god, it only makes two. So we need five to make ten. Five of those. And our ingots right now... Oh... We'd almost need 10 of these factories inside of there. Which... Which is a lot. That's a lot. I don't know about that. I don't think we can afford that right now. <laughs> we can't afford it. It's too much. 10 of those is just way too much. We Look at that. We can't do that. Max stack size has been exceeded. Not for long. Okay, so what I really want to do is upgrade our plastic so that we're getting more, more plastic and also getting dirt. Now, I don't quite recall what our recipe was, so let's find it. Right, right, this mess. Okay, so we're gonna probably want... We're gonna probably want a hundred of these earth orbs to fix this. And I don't know how hard it's gonna be to make an earth orb factory, but maybe let's take a look at that. So, earth orbs. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. See, that's a problem. They take this green stuff, and right now I don't have anything that actually makes the green stuff. So, what what plant grows the fastest? I think it's trees. I think trees grow the fastest. So, if we're just... If we're just trying to get that... If we're, if we're just trying to get the biomass, and that's all we're trying to get then making a tree farm is probably the best way to go. And now that we have a proper farm, we can probably get a, like a hella big tree farm going. We can upgrade. Where are these things? Oh, this takes, this takes gold. One, two... Oh, we can't actually fit them in there anyway, so that doesn't matter right now. Okay. So let's make some of these. Upgrade them to some of these. I don't even think a tier 3 harvester is going to work because we're going to put them, put the crops in, and we need an output. Yeah, we're only going to be able to fit... We're only going to be able to fit two rows, and they got to go right here. It's not going to work. Unless... We could do... No, we can't. Nope. Ignore me. We can't do that. Okay, so we've got the harvesters. We just need the planters now. You know what's probably even easier than what I'm doing right now? Let's just scrap this whole thing and grab the wood factory and just rejigger it a little bit. Wood. Edit. Okay, so the only thing we don't want to do is we don't need this anymore. And we don't need this anymore. And actually, we can make this a little bit better by splitting this over three, although it doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference. I think what I want to do is move this whole thing down one square and add one more sieve now that we have the power to do that. Oh man, what a mess. Okay, let me do that. Okay, I think something like this will work. And what's the ratio of... Wait. One to one. Come here. 
Why won't... There. There we go. Wood, 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 wood. So now all we should have to do is put in nine. Nine gives us back 18 wood and nine of this biomass. Why is it giving us 18 wood? Oh, because each one of these plants drops two, right? This is actually just a better wood farm. So, oh no, wood version one is already taken, isn't it? No? Okay. Anyway, so every 10 seconds we're making nine goop out of 10 dirt. And we're making the wood that we need as well. So both of those things are happening at the same time. Then we just need an iron and a copper factory, which honestly, the first ones that we made are probably good enough. Iron, copper. Okay, plunk those down. And each of those takes 10, 10. This thing takes nine only. But we can stuff 10 in it. I don't think it's gonna matter that much. So if we put in 30 dirt, right here, that is going to make us 18 wood, nine goop, 20 copper, and 10 iron. So we're gonna have 18 wood coming out. We're gonna have 18 copper. We're gonna have a whole bunch of dirt too though, aren't we? What's coming out of this machine? Where's my, where's my output? What's coming out of here? 18, 9, 20, 32. Uh, okay. So how do we wanna do this? I'm gonna wanna get the dirt out first thing. Dirt's gonna come out and it is going to get put into an output. Then, what are we gonna do after that? Once we get the dirt out, we can split the remainder up over, is it four factories? I think it's only four factories or it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's technically four and a half factories. But we can't put a half a factory, so it just is what it is. And let's put this down, this down, this down, this down. We're gonna waste a whole bunch of resources here, but I don't really care that much. Why is that not working? Huh? What's happening here? Why does this not work? I shouldn't be missing an ingredient. Copper, wood. What am I missing? Oh, it actually takes dirt too. Okay. Well, if it takes dirt, I think we should, I think we should split the dirt because there's going to be Otherwise, there's going to be, like, way too much dirt. How much dirt comes out of here? 32? I think we're going to split it, just because we can. So we'll go like this, we'll split it. I... I would like to split it again, but I don't... know we can. Actually, we can! Half, 15... Uh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So we use 30 dirt. It's a net loss of six dirt, but we get four earth orb every 30 seconds for a total cost of six dirt. That seems pretty good to me.
Earth Orb version one. Wait, what the heck? Oh, there was stuff in there. I was like, whoa, when I saw all those materials flying around, I was like, what just happened? Okay, so let's get some dirt going. That is going to start making us earth orbs. And then once we have enough of those, oof, it's actually going to take quite a while. I don't even need this anymore. Let's just smash it. Goodbye. Okay. Well, that is probably pretty good for today. What did we get done? We got plastic done, compact sand. Actually, speaking of compact sand. Oh, and we've also got all these medium crates we can slap down. Look at that. I was just going to say. But speaking of compact sand, maybe we should get some sieving so we can start growing some gold. And why am I doing this? We have an auto sieve. We have an auto sieve, guys. And we may as well make a planter. Well, we can't make a planter four, but we can make a planter th three. There we go. We can make a planter three. Where did it go? Huh? Oh, these are all planter threes. Idiot. Okay. Harvester two. I need more harvester threes. And then we can put the recircle thing back in here. I'm going to need... I'm going to need a splitter for the dirt. Dirt up, everything else. Man, I always need more stuff. There we go. Everything else goes back this way. Dirt up here. This. Oh, we don't want dirt. Never mind. This is this is a non-recirculating system. So actually cancel that all together. And actually, actually cancel the belt altogether. We're just going to put that right in there. Okay, so this is just going to sieve golden seeds. And all I got to do from here is put the... Oh, that is compact sand. Put the compact sand in there. Put the gold seeds in here. There we go. We are growing gold somewhat automatically. It's, it's not the best yet, but it'll do for now. Okay. And let's get all those down. We're down to, or we're up to 8,800 storage room. 8,800. And we got our first three gold nuggers. Oh, that is perfect. I love it. We can actually increase these to mark twos here as soon as we get our fifth one. Oh, that's it. That's the one. Mark four. And we're going to need a planter mark four as well. So let's just wait for that. And then we can increase our productivity by 30%. That's going to look pretty good. Okay, smash that really quick. Smash that really quick and try not to put it back in the exact same spot because that's not really what we're trying to do here put that there that is not the right one. Oh my god get with it there we go get rid of this guy put this guy down and let's stuff those seeds why can't i there we go all right well there we go our factory is coming together we have a bunch of tier twos a couple tier threes at some point, I'm going to have to go back in there and start the whole system all over again, which I'm not really looking forward to, but we can be more productive with our stuff. Now that we've got these better planters and we're automating the earth orbs, we're going to have more room to be able to build bigger and bigger and bigger and better and better. Oh, it's going to be awesome. So the scheme's pretty exponential. Pr pretty good one, guys. I'm loving it so far. I don't know how much more content there is. I guess we're going to see. Maybe... I, I don't even know what comes after gold. Diamond? Platinum? Huh? I don't know. Are we going to be able to get even farther on these things? Or how far do they go? What's the limit? I don't know. Anyway, if you want to find out, then you better subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, you will be notified when we're live with another episode. And other than that, guys, if you're liking the series so far, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you 
next time.